In this lesson, we will implement the show checklist page for the user with open and closing task description for the task list. But before we do that, we will fix one more bug. So one of you noticed and I've noticed myself. So if you are logged in and if you go to the home page, you land on default Laravel homepage, which contains the link home, which doesn't exist anymore because we've deleted the home. So then you get an error that 404 not found. So let's change that by doing one change in routes web file. So in routes web file, we have this from default Laravel. It shows the welcome page, which it shouldn't do. It should automatically redirect to either login or the dashboard for logged in person. So let's do route redirect to the dashboard. Or in fact, our welcome page is here, route get welcome to name welcome. So we redirect to welcome URL, and then that welcome URL will check the middleware auth, and if that user is logged in, it will show the page. If not, it will redirect back to login form. So let's refresh our page now. Now we see the dashboard. But now let's try to log out, and then land on the home page. We should be redirected to login. That's exactly what I was expecting. Now let's get back to our register form, and let's register as another fake user. And let's go back to our checklist show and let's build the task list for the checklists and with task description showing or hiding, like in the original job description by client, something like this. So when clicking that line, the description will appear. So we go to our show blade, which we already have in the show blade of users checklist. And for now we have just the checklist name. So let's put that under class card header, the bootstrap class. So this will be a card header and then in card body, class card body, we will have the table of task. So class table, for example, and then for each of the task, which we already have inside of our checklist, it has many relationship tasks as task. And for each, we have a line. Or, in fact, we have two lines, two rows. One is for the name and other is for description. Description will be, actually, let's start with this one. So TD first will be for now invisible or empty because it will be for checking the done tasks. And then another line will be for the task name, task name. And then another empty line will be for starring the task. Again, we take a look, so this one. So three columns, this column, this column, and this column. And then the description will be hidden inside of this one. Let's do the first empty again. And then we do call span two with task description. Remember it contains HTML, so we need to have a different syntax for showing that. And let's try it out, how it looks by default. Yeah, good, we have task list name, checklist name, then task, and then description with some fake data. Good. Now let's hide the description by default and show that only when click the task name. And we can do that in variety of ways, plain JavaScript, jQuery, or AlpineJS to name a few. And I will stick to the good old jQuery because for me it's more simple, I think, but maybe it's because I'm used to it. If you want to do it with AlpineJS, I will link in the description below an example of AlpineJS intro, my video where I have something similar with show or hide example. But for now, let's stick to jQuery. So by default, we hide that line with bootstrap class dnon. And then here we assign some kind of a class, for example, task description toggle, and assign some kind of ID. And here we'll use data. So data dash something means variable of ID, and that ID will be task ID. Let's make it more readable, like this. And then that row should also have some kind of identifier. So let's identify it by task description dash and then have task ID as well. Here we have ID. So basically on click of any task description toggle, we will toggle the ID element of that row. And in our main app blade, we have section for yield scripts, but we don't have jQuery by default. So we will copy that. But for now, let's have section scripts and section 
to load jQuery with Google jQuery CDN and copy the code, for example, from the latest version. So copy here and then in the app blade, we paste it here. So we load jQuery, good. And then in jQuery syntax for dollar, it's short syntax for document ready. Then inside we have function. Okay, and then inside we have dollar whatever the event. Actually, let's put the script here. Script. Now PHP Storm even recognizes the colors. So now on the class of task description toggle click, then inside we have a function of what do we do on click? Identifier of ID of task description, task description, but instead of task ID, we have plus this, which is row this data ID, which corresponds to this data ID, this one. We do toggling the second line and that toggle show height in our case is toggle class of D non bootstrap class show or hide. And let's try it out. I hope I didn't forget anything. Reload the page. It's hidden by default, but if we click, it shows up. We click again, it is hidden. Okay, so this is how relatively simple it is to do with jQuery. If you want to choose AlpineJS, a framework of AlpineJS, which is also a light white framework, but more like modern type of doing things in JS. You can read the official documentation, or as I said, I have a video on intro to Alpine JS in just seven minutes with a similar example of show and hide. So you can practice that to do with Alpine. The last thing in this video, let's take care of the arrows. So in the original description, there's an arrow up and down. And in core UI icons, I found the carrot top and bottom, which is pretty similar. So let's implement those. If we go to our sidebar blade where we have those icons, we can copy SVG for some icon into our show blade, this TD, right? We don't even need sidebar icon. I think we just use the, the icon just instead of puzzle, we do carrot top. Let's see how it looks. Refresh the page. Oh no, we do have that class sidebar. So yep, see sidebar nav icon, although it's not a sidebar, it should be present that class. Then it's smaller, good. Now if we click that, this should change to carrot bottom, carrot down, or is it carrot bottom? Carrot bottom it is, okay. So let's create another one. So SVG with carrot top and SVG with carrot bottom. And this will be D non by default, again, not visible and we'll have ID of task carrot top ID, task ID, and then another ID would be carrot bottom, like this, carrot bottom, and we toggle those as well. So task description is toggled, and we duplicate it to this, task carrot top, and task carrot bottom, like this, and let's see what we have. Refresh the page, and it's working.